so we are fighting Marcellus Spencer. Let's go. First fight. Slide Dickens to the rear. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessator alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for our main event. Six rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. You can't have nice shit. You can't have nice things. Thank you. Fighting out of the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Black Mamba. Here's Anderson, fighting out of the red corner, Spencer! Ladies love the slide bit. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. What does the orthodox fighter have to be conscious of of guarding against that right hook from the southpaw? I mean, he's got his left hand out there, but a non-traditional defensive structure for him being set up like that. Yeah, absolutely. He has... Oh, shit. that's got to hurt. Just did a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Good block there by Black Mamba. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Nice block. Finish, the <laughs> nice block by Spencer. <laughs> Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Able to get rid of that one. We got a guy making his pro debut in this fight here, so he's a newbie to the pro game. Now, if you're standing opposite him, do you jump on him early? Do you test him early? You know, that's a great question, and you don't want to ever get reckless. You want to be responsible, but in a responsible way, yeah. You go jump on him because he's never been there before. He's got some doubts. He's wondering how different it's going to be, and while he's wondering, get on him and start chucking leather. And this round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas ringside. I'm just looking up at the corner here at this guy that just got tagged, Teddy, this fighter who just got stunned. And I'm thinking, boy, it's like the air's come out of him a bit. He looks just so dejected now. Yeah, you know, right now he's on the side of a mountain. You know, he's up on a cliff, and he needs a rope to get down. So that's what you got to do, Joe. You don't look and say, hey, he's up on a cliff. We know that. Give him a rope. Give him advice to get down. Nothing. That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Blocks away that headshot. Holy cow! He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Oh! Spencer's stunned and he is... Wow! Let's go. Spencer's on the canvas. He goes down. Our first knockdown of this fight. Fuck this shit up, bitch. Some way he's going to...
going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Downstairs, but off target. Still Black Mamba's in the clock. spot he wants. Now he takes a respite after just scoring the knockdown in that last round. Yo, you feel good. Just like if you're a lawyer in a courtroom and the judge just sustained your objection. You know what? You're winning. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start? There it is! That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Well, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Good block by Spencer. Eddie, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspen and then, go, oh no, actually, I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Halfway through this round here. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Wow! Spencer's been stunned. Nice work with the jab on the outside. Great pace to this fight, Teddy. These guys are not coming out of fifth gear. Nobody's slowing down. Now they're fighting a sixth, seventh, and eighth gear. a fighter coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon oh, I missed that. come on come out beat him to the punch missed the body shot And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. by Spencer denies his opponent comes with the overhand right I know it's good to throw a lot of punches but it's better to do what we're seeing out of him right now and that's land when you throw yeah, he's making everything count he's putting everything out there for a purpose placing punches beautifully <laughs> And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Can he do this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time God. down? Damn. Hit him with that super overcut. Shit. One, two, three, four. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Well, it's holy cow. Spencer's stunned and he is hurt. And there's 
a clinch after clearly being damaged. And a clinch he needed like flowers need rain. Teddy, what does he need to do right here? He has no balance. His legs aren't underneath him. Well, you know he can't move because he's going to fall on his own or the referee's going to stop running. him. So believe it or not, he's either got to grab or he's got to stand on the rope, stay right in front of the guy and move his head to make a miss. He can't use his legs. Good block there by Black Mamba. And just as we anticipated, toe to toe right from the start. No introductions necessary. <laughs> Set your feet. Wow! Spencer's in bad shape. Set your feet. Spencer's tying up more now after being knocked down. And that's what you expect. He's trying to buy a little time. He's not worried about winning this round right now. He just wants to get himself right so he can yeah, win other rounds. Thanks, and he can bro. be around. Bother, man. Clearly hurt, yeah, but on, holding bro. on. He's hugging him like he just got home for Christmas. Teddy, he went from being on the edge of the cliff to now climbing back up the mountain. Well, you know, that's where you'd want to know if a guy recovers fast. Obviously, he has the capacity to recover very quickly. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Good defensive skill with the block by Spencer. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. On the mark with the overhand right. Spencer's showing us that he is sticking with the game plan. But keep in mind, game that game plan up. had him down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him right now, Teddy? Well, first of all, you got to explain to him very quickly and very clearly why he got caught. You could still do the other things. The other things that we thought going into this fight is still going to work. But make an adjustment. It's not that you didn't do the thing that could work. You didn't do it properly. This has been a hotly contested war throughout. And you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. A nice block by Black Mamba. Oh, Spencer's stunned, and he is hurt. He's in bad shape. He does not look good at all. He could go down at any moment, Teddy. Yeah, he wishes right now this was in an outdoor arena because maybe rain could come and stop it because I don't know what else could help him right now. You know, I thought he had quite a chance tonight, but I don't like what I see right now. Here he is, an outside fighter, and he's unable to do as he pleases. And if he can't win on the outside, we already found out that he can't do it on the inside. <laughs> Place counter punch by Black Mamba. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Keep your distance. Final minute of the final round. He said he was going to do it from the outside, and now he oh. has. He just got to his man. His opponent had no idea that he was still in range. He thought he was at a safe distance. Now he knows he wasn't. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. <laughs> Tucks those elbows in, blocks the bottom. Holy cow! Spencer stunned and staggered. Last round of an entertaining fight. Now, the judges' scores. Let's send it up to the ring
got the win. Black Mamba's your winner by unanimous decision, Teddy. Well, the question yeah, from the beginning was, it. could he get inside and make it his kind of fight? He did. That does it from... Got our career off to a great start. You know what I'm saying? Popularity is up to 3% right now. Uh, let's go ahead and skip this fight. Training? I don't get no training. Like nothing? We don't, we don't train? Okay. We just recover for a whole month and then uh, we just fight it again. All right. You take it all challenges. You know what I'm saying? Like if you climb up the ranks. Hi everybody, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Well, they've been waiting for this moment and now they get it. Round one underway. There's more room for defensive error with the taller fighter, I assume, here? Yes, there is, because now all of a sudden you're punching down. You're taught to punch on a straight plane where you don't leave anything open. You punch down and somebody comes up with a punch. Next thing you know, you're picking yourself up off the campus. A piercing jab by Tucker. <laughs> oh, that's gotta hurt. Tucker's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. What happened to the audio? Is this part of the game? You also going to be able to have a physicality when you get in the ring. You don't want to be weak, so you want to get that right balance where you're disciplined, you get the weight down, but you don't lose that physical edge. Nice block by Tucker. Tucker's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. right back with some offense of his own. Blocks 
that belt line well. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. A headshot block. Oh, that's got to hurt. Just in a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Tucker's like a piece of Velcro against his opponent recently here. It seems like he's clinching more after that knockdown. Yeah, that's exactly what he has to do right now. Oh, now he has to be Velcro. able to just get past his little bit. It's kind of like being in a bad rapids. You know, you're going down those waterfalls. You better be in a canoe. You better be in something. This is his canoe. This is his raft. That was a miss by Tucker. Fires right back at him. End of the round there. He was able to stun his opponent. Teddy, when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man, what do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that, and here's how you did it? How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just a big punch that landed. Remember how you got to that point. Good block there by Tucker. <laughs> Tucker is showing that he doesn't have any head movement defensively whatsoever. What else is there, Ted? Well, there's legs. Start using your legs a little bit. Get out of range. One way or the other, get out of the other man's talking place. Black Mambas is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Catch that. Catch that fucking hook. Let it go to your corner. Watch for the hook. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. And somehow, you some more? Some way. like I just read a book. You know, I know a little bit more about this guy now. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That got that dog. Baby. Dominic Tucker got knocked the fuck out. Schedule next. Uh, block strength and head movement, hand speed. All right, yeah, I, I want more hand speed. Now let them things go. Let them things go. Oh 
shit. You got this one. Two times. You gotta move that head faster. Here we go. Slip seven times. Where'd the punch oh. go? Watch the bag. Keep your eye on the bag. Leaning out of the way here. Here we go. Slip six times. Great upper body movement. You gotta move your head faster, kid. Let's go. If this was a real fight, you would have got hit in the head six times. Great work. Okay, nice work slipping the back. Two times. Great work leaning out of the way, kid. Seven times. <laughs> I'm still fucking up. <laughs> I'm still fucking up with the, uh, with the drills, man. Drills ain't my thing. I'm gonna go in there and beat ass. Pause. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. You know what to do. Let's touch gloves. Stick and move. Stick and move. Yeah. 
bitch. Let's go. Shit is real over here, bro. Mamba. Shit is real. So another second round knockout. I'm going for that first round knockout, though. I heard you just you just knocking niggas the fuck out. Let's go. Uh, time to step up and fight someone hard. Please challenge Glenn Crawford. If you want to move up in rank and increase your popularity with the fans. Let's accept. We're not ducking no phase. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna fight him two days after my birthday. Shepard, dick. Alright, so there's my champ. Hold up. Let's change your hands to other weight divisions for the check. Mike Tyson are the top three fighters in the heavyweight division. Email Judah. Aeneas Dean. Train like two days, two days before the fight. Okay, two days before the fight. I thought you were supposed to be chilling. All right, we, we don't we don't try this maze bag. All right, what do we need to get? get the maze bag. Play training. Fifty slips in a row. Uh, all right, so we need at least like. 4,500. We're going to go for the low end, low end of food. You know what I'm saying? Got to get these slips off and then just punch them. Come yeah, on, kid. All up, right, bro. I want to see you go all the way this time. Your reflexes oh. are too slow, kid. Eight times. Focus, kid. The Watch the bag move side to side. Seven times. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, that was nice lean skin. Nice work slipping the bag. Three times. That was nice hustle, kid. Slip six times. Listen to me, kid. So. Great work leaning out of the way. Three times. Leaning out of the way, kid. Five times. Great upper body movement. Two times. Great work. Three times. Okay, nice work slipping the back. Eight times. Alright, I'm still fucking up. <laughs> I'm still fucking up. Oh my god, I fucking suck. I fucking suck. This is horrible. Horrible. Did you still want to. Everybody, so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. How effective of a tool can the right hook be for a southpaw when he faces an orthodox fighter? Wow, what a dangerous punch for a southpaw. And the danger zone is really there for the orthodox fighter because he's not used to seeing that punch come from that angle. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Oh, and there you go. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Oh, what a great ability to recover. Good block by Black Mamba. You're taking too many punches. Solid uppercut after taking a shot. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Just need a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Proving that he's here to fight. Oh. Just look at the punch stats. So here we are, a new round underway. And in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. He missed with that headshot. Crawford showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. That hook was well off the mark. What do you think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division? I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that, hey, they're more sure of themselves. That these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves, about confidence. And really, it's the opposite. In some ways, these big giants, they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage. They're also worried about damage being done to them. Halfway through round number two.
was a smart move right there. He was hurt, but then he held on. Absolutely, Joe, but a stupid move, a bad move by the fighter who was having him hurt. He should have taken a little step back. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. just surviving but if he survives then he better figure out why he was put on the floor and the round comes to an end we did have a knockdown in that round now teddy if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor what are you telling him well the first thing that i do is i sit him down i get water on the back of his neck you know i bring him to a sense i make sure that he's clear and everything and then i tell him why he got his backside put on that canvas so he can correct it, and he doesn't go out there and get caught again with the same punch. Teddy, is this becoming a mental thing with him? I mean, he's not firing off the big power punches. I gotta wonder why. You know, that's a good question. Sometimes a guy is making a solemn agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what to come back at him. Black Mamba is doing well sticking to a game plan on the outside. Oh, Crawford stunned, and he is hurt. Crawford showing us some of those survival tactics that he's picked up as a pro. Was knocked down earlier, and now he's in survival mode. And that's exactly where he needs to be if he wants to get to another round, and if he wants to be able to turn it around, get offensive later. There it is! Crawford's legs look shaky. He was hurt. He is stunned, but somehow has the wherewithal to hang on. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Halfway through this fight as this round gets underway here. Been interesting so far. Who knows what we're in store for down the stretch. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Oh, and there you go. Crawford's in bad shape. seconds to go here in this round. in the fourth. Black Mamba's coasting his way towards a victory here. 
that round comes to an end, and yet another round that you got to mark down on your scorecard for. Yeah, the only way he loses now is if he's a glut. You know those guys? You've seen them, Joe. They're on our crew. They stay at the table too long. They don't know when to push away from the table, you know? Well, he's got to push away from the table right now. If he does that, hey, this is in the bank. Able to cover up that gut. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Teddy, it's one of my favorite times of one of our fight broadcasts. When we make the declaration, he has to have a knockout to win. And how's he going to do it? Well, I think he's got to be a photographer. He's got to be a guy that goes in the dark room, really, Joe. And start looking at the negatives. During the night, a lot of pictures have been taken. He's got to go now and look back at those pictures and remember something, that he saw something. He saw a moment. He saw a spot where the guy dropped his hand. He pulled back. And he's got to go, and he's got to act on that moment. Clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Crawford. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, what special effects have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. to get away from those punches. Oh, and there you go. Crawford stunned and staggered. And there's the bell. He is saved by the bell. Oh, boy, Teddy, he's in a world of hurt now. Only 60 seconds in front of him. And you know what? Less than 60 seconds. It took him five seconds to get him on that stool. So right now, they can't concentrate just on telling them things, and he needs to be told why he got hit. But they got to get ice on him, and they got to right now, they have to revive him. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. One. Good work by Crawford. Comes right back at him with the left hand. Oh, Crawford stunned and he is hurt. He is stunned but somehow manages to have the wherewithal to hold on. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it back and forth. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Body shot. Right in the, right in the gut. One, right in the two, three, three, four, five. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart into his soul. Blocks that punch. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, give him one. Save by the bell. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight the judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner, Mamba. Challenge the boy, and you got it. Well, you need to knock that. You got your ass. Let's go.
he actually won a round. No, he won two rounds. Let's see who we're going to fight later. No, we ain't going to fight till October. September 30th is cool. We got two training sessions. Let's try to get this training shit right. Stop being booty and training. This ain't like completely ass cheeks and training. Saying. Take some uh take some months off, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy life, get back to it. I see the push bag. I'm about to still start doing auto training. <laughs> uh about to start doing auto training, dog. Okay, kid. This is gonna take some stamina. Push! Simulate training. <laughs> you gonna simulate training? And what would your name? You must be impressing somebody. You have been nominated for an award by the boxing press. Set of the year. Contenders. No, come back in the year. That's the prospect being Sly Dickens. Alright, so we, yeah, heavyweight of the year. The fighter of the year, we're number four. Thank you. 
fighter and prospect of the year. Okay. So we need the highlight of the See if we can finish out the year strong. You know. That's how you punch. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Wednesday Night Fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. Well, we got a six. There it is! Oh, he just did a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Early on here in the round, yes, go. and he's already yeah. down, and he doesn't look good at all. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Able to dismiss that body shot. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Solid counter punch by Black Mamba. Wow! Moore's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. on wobbly legs not long ago. Now he's got his feet back under him. What is that, a chin or is that Mount Rushmore? One minute to go in a round that feels like an all-time classic. Punch for punch, they're meeting each other. Punch intended for the head. That straight right unable to connect. Hey man, let's go for that first Black knockout. Mamba's gathering himself now after scoring a knockdown in that last round. If you were his trainer, what would you be pumping into his head? Well, I would say, you know what? He hasn't recovered. He hasn't had enough time to completely recover. Oh, that's got to hurt. That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. And just as we anticipated, toe-to-toe -to -toe right from the start. No introductions necessary. Boy, what guts. What guts. To... Oh, Holy shit. cow. Oh, and a crushing hook just gets right to him. Good block by Black Mamba. He went from almost being knocked out to being right back in it. Moore is proving to be elusive. And now they're trading blows. It's been a recent trend, Teddy, where we've seen in the heavyweight division a lot of Eastern Europeans dominating. Why do you think that is? Same thing in basketball. I don't think they're the better athletes, but you know what? There's an urgency. There's a real hunger. This is their opportunity. The fighters over here and the basketball players for that part, they have too many options here. Over there, they make the most of it, and fundamentally... There oh, it shit. is! He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. 
<laughs> so the round comes yeah. to its conclusion, right, and it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tagged pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, remember you got hurt in the gym? And then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. I don't know how they are keeping this up. They are setting such a scorching pace of action in this fight. Wow! Moore stunned and staggered. surviving Teddy he's not jabbing that much right now that's got to help out his opponent yeah you know that's like giving him a free one because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in no jab to keep him out he's gonna see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them black mama's fighting real smart here on the outside he takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good block there by Black Mamba. He's a weevil Shit. wobble in the ring right now, just wobbling away. It. <laughs> hey, 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 no holding, no holding. Black Mamba is coming off a stellar performance in that the first half of this fight. He may make this short from here on out. I don't know if it's going the distance. Well, he has the ability, he has it in his control to do that. Right now, he just has to sit down on his punches a tiny bit more. Nice block by Black Mamba. Moore showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Straight. Right, in, right, right to the thigh. Right to the nozzle. Nose. One, two, three, four. And down. He gets up after that punch. Put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. <laughs> And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Black Mamba's in control here. You can just... Look at this fight for 10 seconds and you've seen everything you need to see because there hasn't been a moment where it hasn't been his fight. Yeah, you know, you talk about those sins. A lot of times people say there's seven virtues, there's seven sins out there. One of the sins that you hear about is greed. That's the only thing that could beat him right now is if he gets greedy. 
Lamar is treating the word slip like it truly is a four-letter word. <laughs> yeah, he is. He needs to, he's slipping, all right? He's slipping over the other guy's left hook. He needs to start actually slipping by moving his head side to side. His legs are made out of wet noodles. Menacing midsection shot there. Down he goes. your winner by knockout. I feel like I just read a book. You know, I know a little bit more about this guy now. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have you Fighter now, when I move it up. Knock, it, knock the cats out on ESPN. You know why? Because that's what we do. We knock, we knock cats out. Alright, so let's fight. Let's fight on Christmas. Can we fight on Christmas? Whooping for Christmas. But whooping. We handing out, we giving our hands for Christmas. <laughs> We're giving out lefts and rights. Jab and hooks. We're gonna send him to training. Alright, so there's a new champ. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Teddy, when you're a fighter like what we see here tonight, a guy who's well-balanced, who has all the tools on the tool belt, how important does it become to know how to apply your fastest? Wow! Oh, he just hit a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. He was damaged moments ago, but now he's got his feet back underneath him.
Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Oh, Galata stunned and staggered. That punch nowhere close. A good block. Come on, keep busy, guys. Come on now. Come on, come on. Keep... The tactical game paying off. You can see the counterpunch. Yeah, you see the counterpunch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, it gets caught. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. And now they're opening up. Both right hands land. Final 10 seconds. Black Mamba's commitment to throwing punches in that last round really scored well for him. So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Good-looking counterpunch. What's the proper way to use a heavy bag, Teddy? Well, to be aware of all facets, of all dimensions, all elements. First of all, where you're punching from. Don't just get in there and just punch it because nobody's punching back. Punch from the right distance. When you're jabbing, be at a distance where you can get full extension, where when you throw it, he can't counter you with a right hand. That's very important. And of moving after your last punch, not just taking a picture after you throw because nobody's throwing back. Make believe somebody's throwing back at you. Halfway through round number two. Oh! Galata's legs look shaky. He was hurt. Watch the headshot. Good block by Black Mamba. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Wow! Galata's in bad shape! commitment to being judicious and effective really worked out well there. The punch stats prove it. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. They both decide to bring it. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. How is he taking these kind of shots and just dismissing them? What a chin on this guy. Yeah, well, what a neck on him. Look at that neck. I mean, it's about 19 inches. That is the shock absorber. But the rest of it is he's seeing it. He has good vision. He sees the shots coming, and he's making up his mind. They're not taking him anywhere. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Takes 
one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. And a well-placed counter by Black Mamba. He goes up top oh, and gets to him, hammering the head. Yo. One, two, three. Yo, it's the first time I got dropped in my career. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, hey, we're hey, getting no a holding, peek no right holding. now into his heart, into his soul. That's straight sub. He fires one right back after taking one. Oh, boy, what a break he just caught. The yeah. bell rings at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. And if you're in the corner, what do you do? Well, you just finished painting the house, you know, and you want to paint a little more, but the paint is still wet. You got to wait for it to dry a little bit. You got to wait for your guy to wake up. You got to wait for the cobwebs to go away before you can do more painting. You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there, you got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but you have to remember, that's a good question, but you have to remember this fighter has been there before. So just remember, I have dealt with it before. And then you have to beat David Copperfield. A little bit of a magician, a little smoke and mirrors, and con your opponent. Let him think you're all right. Let him think you even want to fight when really you just want to buy a little time. It is unbelievable how this fight is being fought. Both guys unwilling to stop. One guy goes at it, the other guy meets him. There it is! Galata's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. Just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. Joe, it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Galat is trying to create a gap between himself and his opponent, and you see how he's doing it. A little push-off. Excellent counter punch by Black Mamba. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's gonna try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's gonna feel at the end of the night. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Oh, very nice, smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Black Mamba's opponent is saying to himself, I can't believe this. Every time this guy throws, it seems like he lands. He's very strong. Wow! Galata stunned and he is hurt. Oh, look at that. He's hurt. But hey, I give him credit. He's smart enough to know what to do now. Yeah, the referee needs a crowbar to separate him. Side doing well. Black Mama's jab continues to carry the day. He's wanted it, he's got it. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. earmuffs on he's got his hands tight against his body but teddy still some things are getting through yeah i mean it's kind of like driving a car joe you know and the, the weather's a little bad and you say i, I want to be safe here i'm going to stop the car you don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway where cars are coming i mean he stopped right there in the middle of the highway cars are coming you know pull off somewhere you know get the heck out of there find the right parking spot 
Black Mamba's got to be pleasing his corner right now. I mean, everything they asked of him, if they could paint the picture of the first half of this fight, it would look like that masterpiece right there. Yeah, exactly. You know what? You start to wonder, will we go after the knockout? Because it does look like he has the opportunity to do that. Or, oh, holy cow! Galata's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. He's in bad shape. He's on wobbly legs. Teddy, he's got to tie up. If he can. See, that's up to his opponent, Joe. It's not automatic that he's going to get what he wants to tie up. If his opponent steps back a little bit, he can keep his offense going. And then he goes down. He has so much time now, he's going to be forced to survive. One, two, three, four. Up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? <clears throat> Ass whooping for Christmas. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Targets a counter overhand right. How about a return to center with the left hand? <laughs> 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Galata's got to understand that he's trailing in these scorecards, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, but he also has to understand a way to turn it around. Oh, that's got to hurt. Galata's in a bad spot. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he goes down but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And, Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear-cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Shaky, he was hurt. Galata's clinching a lot, Teddy, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I mean, you gotta wonder if the referee's gonna start coming in there, give him a few warnings right now. But he's gotta get himself together. That's what he's trying to do. And then hopefully he can find a way to get on the offense. A huge uppercut puts him down. Not getting up. Accept it. Accept your feet. Go sleep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Headshot there. Him. He is down. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. That is it. This fight is over. Yeah. Black Mamba's got the win by way of knockout. He put ball. his man down, and the Yo, 10 count was CTV. administered. Mamba. CTV. 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 Black Mamas, your winner by knockout, Teddy. Well, we came in wondering whether or not his opponent had a good chin. We found out. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us. This class fight for me, I'll beat that ass.